welcome to Interfaced. With Interfaced, we take a look at Halborn on the inside and get to know the people here. Today, uh, we have got Charles Dre, who is our head of uh, business development, joining us for this chat. And I'm Arabda, I'm from Madrid. And Charles, tell us where you're joining us from and tell us a little bit about yourself. Sounds good. Hello, Arabda, and thank you, everybody, for, for viewing this video. Um, so about me, I come from an institutional background, actually. So I've been working at the traditional banks for over a decade before delving into blockchain. So when I worked at the banks, I always thought to myself, is there a better way to do banking? And so over the years, I always was, was thinking about that. And at some point, I, I started to do a lot deeper research. And I found myself in blockchain. <laughs> it's a great place because, you know, there's the promise of speed, there's the promise of availability, and there's the promise of access. And those were always three fundamental components in banking that there was sometimes a bottleneck in. So my story is banking to blockchain <laughs> and, uh, and blockchain security particularly, and uh, really love being here. Wow, thanks for sharing that. Banking to blockchain is quite a story and the CIA principle always holds true in most sectors, I guess. All right, um, Charles, uh, what I have often found is that, you know, like uh, for every single person in this world, there is a very persistent why which makes them do the things that they do. And in your case, I know you're so passionate about building client relationships, um, letting it, uh, you know, following it up through and going, making it happen. What is your why? What really drives you over there? Tell us a little bit more about that. That's a great question. You know, my why is definitely something multifaceted from a personal level and from a business perspective and then tying them together. So I said before that blockchain, when I found it at first, like maybe five or six years ago, um, I, I noticed the promise of speed, of access and availability. And th those are the things that I think can change the world. So my why is really helping these great projects that we speak with deliver this promise to the community by integrating security as their first priority. Because with security, um, it allows these projects to deliver wholeheartedly, make sure that they could say, hey, we're delivering the top tier secure uh, secure kind of kind of tool for you here to the public, to the global public. And that's really my why, helping projects deliver to the global community. And I feel like I'm also helping the global community because of the quality of services that our organization delivers and the passion that we have behind it. Yeah, absolutely. You're a part of the process and contributing to the process at a bigger level. All right, now let's take a look at everything um, that we do here at Halborn. What would you say are the th three things, according to you, that somebody needs to really succeed here at a company like Halborn? Good question. Um, I would say that the one of the first ones would be the ability to look into the future, <laughs> kind of like see the future, because projects in this space as you know, Rob, are continuously changing, their needs change, the, the landscape changes. Looking into the future and kind of understanding how we need to maneuver to, mm -hmm. to arrive and at a place that will be parallel to what the projects that we want to work with are and where, where society is going as a whole. The second thing I would say is curiosity. In the security space and as auditors particularly, it's so important to be curious. And I find that Halborn has a particular focus on that, especially I should say at the technical level. So like right. I'm noticing the engineers asking questions all through the auditing process. A few weeks before the auditing process even starts, we're gathering walkthroughs and information so that we can understand the project and building group channels so that we could start communicating and uh, sharing some silly gifts sometimes and emojis, <laughs> right. but you know, it's all about the process of getting to know the project beyond just the code that they're sharing or the, the different assets that we might be pen testing and working on. So, um, so that's the second one. The third one I would say is definitely attention to detail. Mm -hmm. Attention to detail is really critical in my, my perspective because um, it starts from the very initial point of, you know, me or Rob or Steve or any of us meeting a new project and 
listening to the detail, listening to their needs, and, and seeing how we can put together the perfect recipe for their situation so that they could deliver to the public. Again, going back to my why, delivering to the global public and in, a, in a passionate way, uh, in a way that we would want it delivered to ourselves so that we would also want to be end users and be confident in all the products that we would use. Okay, excellent. So to summarize, you said communication, attention to detail, ability to look into the future and really just being passionate about everything you do. That's actually great advice for anybody looking at any kind of work sector and on generic level as well. Okay, so uh, to sum up, tell us something unique about you that we wouldn't know otherwise as your team so mm. thus far. <laughs> Let's see what you come up with here. Okay, um, all right. So a little personal note about myself. So I'm, I'm from the city of New York. I, I grew up in Queens and lived in Brooklyn and Manhattan. And I always had a passion for living in the city and living the city. That's all I knew. <laughs> but before COVID, I actually moved to the suburbs uh, in, in Rhode Island. And it's near the ocean. And there's a lot of natural beauty here. And not to say that there's not that much in New York. Of course, there's all kinds of natural beauty in New York, but I never really explored it. So I will say about myself, in the time that I've moved to Rhode Island, I've kayaked uh, excessively all around. I've become an outdoorsman and uh, that might be something you don't know about me. Just getting to be one with nature in the weekend and with, with myself and my family. And then the other thing that you might not know about me is, so I've been in sales for a very long time. Like since I've been like seven or eight years old, I've been uh, selling things with my father uh, and, you know, door-to-door -door sales from the age of seven or eight, going to like pizza shops in Queens, selling promotional goods. And I have a really deep passion for delivering. And that's one of the things that I've always been taught and that I've always been focused on. So really happy to be here at Halford. <laughs> Thanks for sharing those details. They're all super interesting and things we would definitely not know without asking you right now, I guess. Um, and thank you for being here again. And to our viewers, we're coming up with a lot of more interesting content. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.